Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Uh, we spoke with a very peculiar character last time out. I think it was the producer of uh, The Steel Samurai. Um, his dialogue lines really threw me off my rhythm and now we're back and Old Bag has returned and she is mad. Look at her. Um, look at the way she's breathing. Jeez. Um, Alright, so we're trying to still find a way we can get a, a key for Studio 2. So... I think it's probably going to be here, but I doubt Old Bag's going to let us have it. So we spoke to her. She basically didn't want to speak to us, didn't she? So we could leave. We could go back towards Studio 2. I mean, we could maybe go and talk to that guy again. To see if he's got anything else he can say. Oh my god, who's this now? Hey! Hey, wait! Oh, is this that kid? I bet he came in right through that drain. Hey, um, kiddio, what's your name, sport? I'm not a kid, so don't talk to me like that. H huh? But you, you are a kid. What a rude little brat. There's no way, that's no way to talk to an adult. I don't see no adults here, hippie fashion chick. <laughs> this kid's funny. Hi hippie fashion? Nick, I think I'm being mocked. Oh, no. You gotta hand it to Maya, she's pretty sharp and pretty mad. I'm Cody, Cody Hackins. Call me Kiddio again and I'll cut you down where you stand, evildoer. Oh my god, okay, he's got a samurai sword. Hopefully it's just a toy. Well, let's have a look around. The dream where the fanboy came in. He didn't waste any time coming in either. Talk about cause and effect. So I wonder what would have happened if we hadn't opened that up. Would that have stopped him from coming in? Maybe we just wouldn't have been able to progress, or maybe we would have, like, I don't know, just kicked it in or something, I guess. It was only cardboard. Um, well. <laughs> Should we speak to this guy? The Steel Samurai. So, you're a fan of the Steel Samurai? How dare you utter that name, evildoer? What do you mean? We're on the Steel Samurai's side. Ha ha! Ha ha ha! You can't fool me! Okay, then what's the last line said by the innkeeper in episode 8? Ha! Ah, easy! Like some fries with that? Hmm, not bad, kiddio. Watch it. What are they doing? <laughs> Felix is just like, what the hell is going on here? What happened? Say, you heard anything about the incident the other day? Dot dot dot. You were here, weren't you? Dot dot dot. Did you see anything? He, he... He... Always! The Steel Samurai always wins! Always! Yeah, I saw him. I saw everything. What? But, but no way am I telling you losers. Oh, come on. What? Wait. Let me go. Did we capture him? Dot, dot, dot. He's gone. Huh? Something fell off the table and he bumped into it on his way out. A bottle? A bottle? Why was this sitting there, I wonder? Found on a table in the employee area, the label reads sleeping pills. Ooh. Did somebody maybe slip that into Powers' food? And that's why he was asleep in the... in his room? Could be that somebody did that on purpose to make him be asleep at the time of the murder. Right. Anyway, what was that kid saying? He saw everything. Okay. He saw everything, eh? <clears throat> Let's see if uh, there's anything that we haven't seen. Uh, well, I mean, the sign's on here. There's a sign on the dressing room door. Will Powers. Must be neat to be the star and have your own room like this. Okay, I think we've probably seen everything else. We can maybe go back into here and um, <clears throat> see if our friend in here has anything else to say for himself. He is still here. Uh, he does not. Okay, fine. So, we're, we're sort of running out of things we can do, I guess. We still don't have this key. Talking to this kid didn't seem to help us get the key. So, do we have to go... Huh? Where's that old windbag? Oliver to leave her post. Hey! Nick, that was her. Stop! Whip a snapper! Oh, is she chasing the kid? 
Yeah, yeah, sounds like she's chasing after that boy. Natch! Uh-oh, she tripped. Maya sure looks happy. I'm kind of happy about it. All right, well, can we now take the key? <laughs> Is, are we ever going to get it? Hey, hey, Nick. Now's our chance. Let's check out the guard station. Good idea. Dot, dot, dot. Oh! This is it, Nick! The trailer key- Oh my god, we actually finally got it! The key to that trailer in Studio 2. We'll be borrowing this, right, Nick? Okay. Slipped into pocket. Fine. Oh, so- So the key- When it says trailer... Does that mean... Like, does that mean the actual... Like, this? Or is this, this is like a van, I'm guessing, maybe? Or, or is it talking about that? Yeah, I think maybe it's talking about the actual thing here. I wonder if the key we borrowed from the guard station will work. It opened. Great, let's go, Nick. She seems eager all of a sudden. Well, you first, Nick. Ah, not that eager. All right, um... Do we just head in? The trailer door. It's unlocked. Oh, maybe we have to do, like, move? Oh, yeah, here we go. Trailer. Ooh, a new area. Exciting. October the 18th, Studio 2 trailer. Oh, my God. Who's this? Is this the director? Dot, dot, dot. Eek! Someone's in here. Names. Uh, our names? Um, we're WP's lawyers, and, um... I see. And who might you? D Vasquez, the producer. Yeah, okay. Oh, she's the producer. The other guy's the director. Okay, fine. D Vasquez. She's quite beautiful. Okay. Let's have a look around in here. We've got all sorts going on. The glass is frosted. I can't see outside. This far into October, the dim and daylight makes it feel like winter's coming. Insert Game of Thrones, uh, Thrones reference there. Uh, it looks like they were designing a set to use for the Steel Samurai show. They've got some figures for how much the set costs. I can't believe they spend that much money on those sets. Okay. Uh, we've got some posters here. The Singing Samurai. Another old movie poster. The Singing Samurai starring Jack Hammer. What the hell does Samurai sing about? Chopping off heads? Oh my god! That movie was the best! It's about a samurai who sings his way to fame and fortune. Mr. Hammer was a very accomplished singer, you know. <clears throat> Singing samurai stars? What's next? Ninja Ballet? <laughs> samurai Summer? Starring Jack Hammer. Uh, so all of these are starring Jack Hammer as the hero. This poster's quite old. Wow, it's been years since I've seen that show. It was one of those typical summer romance stories, but it was great. A typical summer romance with a samurai on a horse? Good question. Dynamite Samurai. Let me guess. Jack Hammer. Yep. I guess Mr. Hammer used to be quite the star. I mean, Old Bag did allude to that, didn't she? Saying that, that he was the star and then they sort of like screwed him over by making him the... Whatever the evil villain is in the Steel Samurai. What's this? This is where they had that meeting. There are documents and paper cups scattered around. Okay. Anything... Else? There's a bin. Nothing in there that could be a clue. Just some paper cups and crumpled documents. Yeah, but could the crumpled document be a clue? We haven't uncrumpled it, have we? Anyway, I guess it's time to speak to D. Vasquez. The day of the crime. I was wondering if you could tell me about the day of the murder. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Miss Vasquez? Script. Uh, excuse me? Script. I'm looking for a script. That's a script? The Steel Samurai episode 13. I need it. Um, could we ask you a bit about the day of the murder? I need to read it. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. <laughs> We're getting nowhere fast. <laughs> Alright, the Steel Samurai. Um, we'd really like to ask you about the Steel Samurai. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Miss Vasquez? It's on TV every week. That's all I have to say about that. Oh my god. But Nick, she's telling us to watch TV. The nerve of her. Hey, you don't get mad at me. Alright, the director. About the director. Sal Manella, was it? 
What uh, exactly is his role here? Perhaps I didn't make myself clear? I'm looking for a script. I can't be bothered with anything else. Dot, dot, dot. Okay. Nick? Are all people in the entertainment business this weird? It's starting to look like it. Nick, let's get out of here. Isn't there some place we have to check? I yeah. Wait. Y yes? If you see Manella, give him this. Why do we have to do your errands? Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Oh my god, there's lots of dot, dot, dots. I, I don't think I like her. Don't cry. She'll take it a sign of weakness. Alright, we'll give it to him if we see him. Vasquez's memo added to the court record. Alright, so we're going to have to go, I guess, back to the employee area. She was no help at all, was she? So, uh, no, we don't want to talk. We want to move. We'll go outside. Hopefully we don't run into old bag anytime soon. Uh, let's see if we can look at this memo. The memo reads, bring me the script for episode 13. Okay, so... I mean... Are they still planning to make the show? Or is maybe there something in the script that implicates somebody? I don't know, but let's see if we can go back to here and see Sal Manella. Is that kid back? No, but I think talking to him and, and finding out what he saw is going to be quite important. Oh yeah, he's here, okay. <clears throat> uh, present the memo. Here, I got this from the producer. Huh? Bring me the script for episode 13. Episode 13? Where did I put that one? I must have left it somewhere. Sweats. Uh, uh oh, my ass is pwned if I don't find it. Shakes. Nick! It might be quicker to just look in all the places where he's likely to have been. I think, did we see... I agree. Yeah, did we... I'm sure when I was looking somewhere, I made a comment. Uh, was it in Studio One? No, I don't want to go back into there. Um, I, I think it might have been in Studio One. Where, the, where we first met the assistant... And they had all the cameras and, and the rucksack that I thought we were going to look in. I'm sure I saw a stack of papers in there somewhere. We're back at the scene of the crime. Let's find what we need and get out of here quick, Nick. Yeah, here. Was it this? I'm sure we, like, looked at this before. Hey, look! That's the chair the director sits in. I've always wanted to sit in one of these. The director. Maya, take a look around that chair for me, would you? Remember that script the director was talking about? Didn't he say he'd left it somewhere? Ah! I found it, Nick. The script. Good work. Script placed in pocket. Okay, so, can we have a little snoopy look at this script at all? Still summarize script. The cover reads episode 13. Okay, so, I mean, do we just cut out the middleman and take this back to the, um, lady? I'm thinking maybe we do. Like, why does the other guy need to see it? Or, or should we take it back to the other guy? I, I, I mean... I, let's just take it. Let's cut out the middleman, right? He's probably just going to... He's only going to take it to her anyway. Plus, we might get some sort of dialogue if we bring it to her. I don't know. Okay. We've got your script. Here, we found it. Your script. Ah! Script handed to D. Vasquez. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Um, uh, you're not going to talk to us? Quiet. I'm reading. Just you hold on, what's the big idea? Who do you think you are anyway? And do you even know who we are? Dot, dot, dot. Powers is lawyers. Um, right. Am I a suspect? Maybe. No, no, it's just, well, no, but... Dot, dot, dot. You wanted to know about the day of the murder? Yes, anything you could tell us would be a big help. Dot, dot, dot. You know there was a meeting here at noon? Yes, with the director and the people from the network. Correct. Now listen closely. None of the people in this trailer that afternoon went to Studio One. It was impossible for us to leave. Impossible? Why? The path was blocked. The path? Oh yes, the, so the... 
Wait, why the hell is it opened all this up? I, 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 okay, okay. The block's part up. That's weird. On the day of the murder, the path that leads here was blocked. You saw Mr. Monkey on the way here, correct? M Mr. Monkey? The monkey with the broken head. Alright, that. What an original name. <laughs> His head fell off in, over in the wind on the day of the murder. They didn't start moving the head out of the way until after three. It was after four by the time the path was unblocked. Capiche? Everyone in this trailer was stuck here until the path was cleared. Stuck in this trailer, stuck until after four. Hammer died at 2.30. Thus, none of us could have gone to Studio One. What? It's true. A crane came just after three to move the head. We called some people in to clear the way. I'm sure they'd corrobor corroborate my story. But wait. What if the head fell over after 2.30? Then you could have gone to Studio One. 2.30, the time of death. Very well. Come. Okay, we're here now. Alright guys, well, we are out of time, so we will continue hearing all about this in the next one. She is finally going to tell us something, hopefully. <laughs> so as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Tony Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Hobo, Numinous, Kubadim, Paul Leone, Flossy the Sheep, JohnCom555, Chrissy, Paul James, and Zaltis. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>